my channel with the name Aman Watts itself. So in continuation of our project management learning, today I'm going to tell you about seven essential tools of quality. Everybody, especially in the project management arena, they are well aware that seven tools of quality are very important for us, for all the project management professionals, not only project management professionals, but also uh, in, in uh, I mean, normal uh, working pattern. Unless we are able to analyze something, we are not able to take any decision. Therefore, uh, the seven tools of quality are very, very important for us. And uh, let me tell you what all these seven tools are. And uh, maybe in uh, forthcoming videos, I will continue and explain each and every tool in detail for in-depth learning. So first, let me tell you what are these seven tools of quality are. So uh, guys, these are the tools of quality. Process flow diagram. Then second, we have a check sheet. Third, we have histogram. Then Prato diagram, cause and effect diagram, scatter diagram, and control charts. These are seven tools of quality known as we, we use uh, some more methods in analyzing our data and take, decide, derive the options, derive the decisions. But these are primarily seven tools of quality used in project management, especially from the PMP examination point of view and learning project management. It is really important that you must understand all these tools in detail. So let me tell you what the what basically objectivity of these tools are independently. For example, the flowchart. This is used to define and understand your process. Unless your process is known to you, you are well clear about your process. It is difficult to direct your teams. Cause and effect diagram helps you to identify root cause or source of the variations. So uh, this is cause and effect diagram. It has multiple names. But that uh, I will come in uh, about these names and the detail working of each and every tool when I'm going in depth for that particular tool. The third one is control chart. This is used for monitor, monitoring your process and how does your process is working. What is outcome of using the limits? You must have heard the, the value like UCL and LCL. I'll come to that when I'm when we talk about in my video pertaining to control charts. Next, we have checklist. The checklist is for data collection and control. We are well aware about checklist. Histogram is used and it is uh, used to present the data using bar charts to derive the decisions and check current conditions. Then Pareto chart is used to sort and define 20% factor creating 80% of the issues. And then we have scatter chart which establish relationship X and Y cause and effect. So this is on multiple parameters, multiple axes. I'll let you know when I'm talking about scatter charts. So uh, in nutshell, I'll talk about each and every aspect of project management because I had been providing training. I'm still providing training to PMP aspirants. I cleared my PMP somewhere in 2007, September 2007, not somewhere, September 2007. And since then, uh, thank God I have a good exposure of providing trainings on national space as well as international space. So guys, these are the seven tools of quality. Flow chart, cause and effect, control chart, checklist, histogram, predator chart, and scatter chart. I will come one by one to each of the tool and explain you well in detail to understand the utilization, objectivity, and result, get, how to get the result of particular tool of quality. So in next, uh, my next video, I'll talk about process flow diagram or process chart, which is first tool of quality in our sequence. So stay connected. Subscribe my channel. Amanwats. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.